This is uh, another one of the daily pro Gaddafi demonstrations that have been taking place in different cities around Libya over the course of this week. Big demonstrations of fervent support of Muammar Gaddafi. The difference here is we're in a town called Zawiya, which was the scene of intense fighting. Let's take a look at these buildings here, at the damage here. This was an opposition-held town, one of the first to fall to Gaddafi's forces. And as a result, we get a sense that some of the people here are much angrier, much more aggressive than at some of the other demonstrations we've seen around the country this week. No, no, not Syria, not Syria. Muammar Gaddafi has addressed a crowd of enthusiastic supporters here. It's been part of the ritual we've seen at similar rallies this week. And his message is, is that the people here in this sea of green and Gaddafi himself represent the true Libya, not the transitional national council, which leads the rebels out of the eastern city of Benghazi, which was just officially recognized by the U.S. government and other Western governments as well. There is a much larger security presence here in Zawiya, which is just a half hour's drive from the capital, Tripoli, in part because this was the scene of such intense fighting. Look at this. There are still unexploded petrol bombs, Molotov cocktails, apparently that had been used by the rebels on this rooftop when they made their last stand here in this battle-scarred town center. Even sandbags and bullet casings still littering this place. This could be described as a victory celebration of sorts. The Gaddafi regime wanting to show the rest of Libya as well as the world that this, the scene of such intense fighting, is now firmly in the control of the Gaddafi government. Ivan Watson, CNN, Zawiya, Libya.